It's empty. Oh. What do you usually carry in it? Nothing. Pencils sometimes. Midnight's children through the 90s. <laughs> Nicola, let's spend some time together this week. That would be nice. Yeah. I don't want us to drift apart. Absolutely. There's so many pressures and te Oh, she's gone. <laughs> Seven minutes late, no reason given, due to surly guard issue at Rains Park. Take an email, please, Vicky. To whatever your railway company's called this week. <laughs> Dear, and I use that word very loosely, idle bastard. You normally do your own emails. I don't want you to lose the use of your fingers altogether, Vicky. They may come in handy sometime. <laughs> Dear, idle bastard. Fat controller. <laughs> In 20 years of commuting, I've heard many excuses for late trains. For example, inadequate catering provisions in the Tolworth area. These are now delivered with a sniggering indifference. And it feels like being urinated on from... You know, it feels like being pissed on from a great height by 17 monkeys. <laughs> If you are trying to add to my increasing sense of unease with the world, well done, it's working. Have a cigar <laughs> and a puppy. Oh. Puppy. <laughs> Hello, Reggie. Hello, Colin. Nice to see the new car park routing up and running. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Not shut up. Yes, it is nice, Colin. Doing anything for the weekend? Ah, oh, nothing special, Reggie. Thought I might go shopping. Really, Colin? That's uninteresting. No, 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 no bloody small talk. Hello, Reggie. Hi, hi, hi. Um, jumpy water cooler, that's all we need. <laughs> Lucky it was empty. How, how are you finding your feet? Oh, fine, thanks. Any progress on your disposable ten blade razor? Yes, bit of a breakthrough, actually. We've decided it's a stupid idea. Uh, we were firming up our plans to go to the Stubble Conference in Huddersfield. Oh, I'd love that. <laughs> I mean, the, the challenge of stubborn body hair in an honest northern town, what's not to love? You're not like most people who work here, are you? Yes, I am. Oh, it wasn't a criticism. Finding a feet. You have asked me that. Uh, yes, I was just checking there hadn't been a deterioration with your feet. I get the feeling I make you nervous. No, no, no. I think it's actually happier on the floor. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having a bit of a problem with my small talk at the moment. Oh, you're in big trouble then. Yes, yes, I am. Reggie. Chris. Yasmin. Chris. Drop in my office this afternoon, will you, Reggie? Yes. 2.30, any good for you? Uh, yes, I can Good, make it four. <laughs> yes. Chris. Reggie. Take a seat. <laughs> you wanted to see me? Yes. Listen to that silence, Reggie. Any reason? You don't get this silence in the factory in China where they make the razors that we market and sell? No. You can't hear yourself scream? No. So what a privilege to work here. Well, 
That's I'll get back to that. Do you consider yourself a maverick, Reggie? No, I don't. Hmm, interesting. These mavericks think a bow tie constitutes originality. They despise normal people and they're just generally very annoying. Hmm. I consider myself a maverick. <laughs> then there are the genuine mavericks like yourself, Chris, who make the world intriguing and special. Well done. Thank you. So, what is life, Reggie? What do you think? Love to hear your thoughts first, Chris. Well, an office is a delicate and fragile ecosystem requiring a certain amount of conformity if it is to be capable of functioning in an effective and socially cohesive manner. Yep, that's what I was going to say. Word is that you've been coming to work without a briefcase. <laughs> What's your problem? If I'm honest, I'm finding office small talk rather wearing. But you're a manager. Talking down to your minions is a vital part of the job, people-wise. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with small talk. I don't do it myself, obviously, because I'm far too busy and important. Obviously. But if all the talk out there was big talk, then surely we'd be missing a trick, talk-size-wise. <laughs> Maybe I could experiment with medium talk and work my way down. <laughs> I'm watching you, Reggie. It's cold out there. Hi, love. Hiya. You know Jean-Paul Sartre said hell is other people? He just spent the day working at Groom Tech and then commuting home to Surrey. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh, that feels better. Bloody uniform, he's still a cool school kid, isn't he? Nicola agrees. Joan is the worst deputy head we have ever worked for, bar none. You obviously never worked for Dave Hedges. No, why would he like? I think she means well, but she's always bursting into tears. Oh, gosh, why'd she do that? She took year nine for geography once. I came in there going through a handbag and dividing up the contents. Did you get anything? They did that to Fiona in our eyes. Glass of arsenic, anyone? Another time. <laughs> I, came I am actually quite a modernist. I rushed out to buy the first the iPod. I'm happy talking to call centres in Uzbekistan, way, but something bad is happening. The gap no. between but what I we say and upset. what we want and mean is growing dangerously I wide. For example, I sell razors in the knowledge in that the shaving cover. is ridiculous. <laughs> Why on earth cut the hair off your face? <laughs> and what is she doing with her hair? <laughs> Gonna dye your hair, don't dye it grey. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Why would you want to look like Santa anyway? <laughs> I know what she needs is the beard. Yeah, well, exactly. Sorry, couldn't tear myself away from Britain's fattest pet. <laughs> <laughs> no, look, I'm sorry. I always seem to be busy these days. It's quite tiring, the telly, isn't it? At one point, I seemed to be watching CSI Bournemouth. <laughs> you used to read books, you know. Yeah, I know. But I wanted something easy and warm and comforting. Hence, two hours of darts. I'm too tired to talk. Oh, go on, let's try it. School. Oh, OK. Children, learning, nice warm staff room. Good. Fighting in corridor, underfunding, piercings on teachers. Ah. <laughs> it's not the best conversation we've ever had, is it? No, it's not. <sighs> we'll talk tomorrow. I'll make us a nice breakfast. Oh, thanks. Mm. And how are you, Reggie? Um, oh, not entirely me at the moment, to be honest. And maybe I wasn't me before. Um, full of continental. Do you mind if we don't? I'm exhausted. <laughs> you probably meant the breakfast, didn't you? I did really, yeah. 